Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I'm excited to tell you about our pattern Clam Up, which includes instructions for fun and functional bags in five sizes. Use them to store and organize all your essentials, from makeup to sewing supplies to tech gear and more. Double slide zippers and handy grab tabs make it easy to open the bags for easy access to the roomy interior. Attached side panels prevent contents from falling out. An optional strap with swivel hook may be added. This makes it easy to attach the bag to a purse or travel bag. We've made the strap long enough so that it's easy to grab, but feel free to adjust the length to suit your needs. When empty, all five bags nest within each other to save space. You may quilt the fabric for the bags or leave it unquilted and add an optional iron-on vinyl laminate for a white clean interior. We love the quilted look and appreciate having the lining attached to the outside of the bag. The pattern instructs you to cut and quilt rectangles of main and lining fabric with soft and stable in between. But if you've got leftover quilted fabric from another project, these bags are the perfect way to use that fabric for a quick and easy project. If you prefer a more smooth, tailored look, you can also make the bags without quilting. We recommend the non-quilted version if you want to apply iron-on vinyl laminate such as slicker to the lining. The laminate makes an easy to wipe clean lining for the bags. No matter which version you choose, quilted or non-quilted, we recommend that you use Biani's Soft and Stable between the layers of fabric to give the bags great body and stability and a firm foundation for easy assembly. You'll love the easy zipper installation and the beautifully finished interior. There are no unfinished edges anywhere in sight. The Clam Up pattern gives complete step-by-step -step instructions and templates for making these bags, from cutting the fabrics and applying the iron-on vinyl interfacing, to preparing the components, attaching the zippers, and assembling the bags. You'll love the checkboxes to help you keep track of where you are in the process, as well as the handy tags for labeling all your pieces. There are dozens of helpful illustrations in the pattern to guide you, and we've filmed an add-on video to help you with some of the more unique aspects of this project. This helpful video tutorial will show you how to cut the various pieces for your bags, make full-sized templates, prepare the pieces for the non-quilted version, including attaching the iron-on vinyl laminate to the lining, prepare double-slide luggage-style zippers using an extra-easy new technique, attach zippers to the top of the bags, attach the side panels, and finish the zipper edges. The clear and complete pattern instructions combined with the add-on video make Clam Up a pattern that can be accomplished by all levels of sewists. Makers will need skills for careful marking and rotary cutting, and sewing accurate seams. Some experience with my patterns and terminology is always helpful. Most of the project is very straightforward, and the video tutorial will walk you step by step through the more challenging or unique aspects. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make the Clam Up bags. The pattern recommends that you use three fabrics for each bag. A main fabric for the exterior, a lining fabric for the inside of each, and a coordinating fabric for the grab tabs, straps, side panels, and bindings. Using soft and stable for the bags gives great body and stability and enables you to use any type of fabric for the bags. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. But feel free to use other fabrics like cork or even home deck fabrics if you prefer. If you plan to carry makeup or toiletries in the bags, you may want to add an iron-on vinyl laminate to the lining before assembling the bags. This enables you to wipe the interior clean. The pattern includes complete instructions for applying slicker iron-on vinyl interfacing to the lining. This easy-to-use interfacing may be ironed onto most smooth fabrics to make them water-resistant. It is durable, flexible, and can be stitched without leaving adhesive residue on the needle. Each bag closes with a zipper, and we prefer using a double-slide, luggage-style handbag zipper on the bag. Handbag zippers are wider than a skirt or dress zipper, and you need the extra width of the tape to make everything fit together properly. Luggage-style zippers have two slides that kiss in the middle, so you can open the bag in either direction, and when it's closed, the poles are positioned at the top. So cute! We recommend using our zippers by the yard to make all the zippers needed for the five bags. 
You'll love our new technique for attaching the slides to make double slide luggage style zippers. It is so, so easy. The pattern includes instructions for the technique, but be sure to watch the add-on video too. This is a brand new technique and you won't find the directions for this technique anywhere else just yet. If you choose to put a swivel hook strap on the end, you'll also need a half inch swivel hook. If you just attach grab tabs, you won't need any hardware. The pattern includes templates for each size of bags, and we'd recommend that you make full-size templates for each. We know you're going to want to make more than one of these fun bags, so having sturdy, durable templates will make everything so much easier. We prefer using gridded template plastic for our templates, as the lines make it easy to get everything aligned. Finally, you'll need some thread to match the fabrics. Most of the stitching is done on the main and coordinating fabrics, so choose threads that blend with those. We prefer to use Superior Threads Sew Fine number 50 when sewing bags and purses. I am so excited to have a set of cute bags for carrying my makeup and supplies. I know that you'll enjoy making your own clam up bags too, for yourself or to give as a gift. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube using at Patterns by Annie. And if you liked this video, please click on the like button below to give us some feedback. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, so you're sure to know when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!